Great XP here, NBA 2K22 My Team Journey video, and in today's video, we are going to look at a great point guard that you can get for free. And as you notice, in that right hand corner, we are level 38. We've done a chunk of XP. Actually, we did a chunk of XP last night, to be honest. So last night we were there ish. Actually, we were there. We were about 90. I think when I left off last night, I was 90, about 98k. Something like that. We were basically just off level 37. And we're level 38. We've done a lot. A lot. Uh, we'll get back to that in a minute. Uh, signature series. <clears throat> We've done the final part of the assists. Still got new blocks on that. Soaring, we have done. K Cunningham's dunk. A uh, Billy Cunningham's dunks. Not K Cunningham. Uh, Billy Cunningham's dunks. Beasts, as you can see, there's only four bits left. I tried to do the challenge game. Blooming heck, the computer plays clamp. The clamp. The most clamped up defense ever. They're literally tied Ty Debo. It took me to overtime. It frustrated me. My players were getting absolutely slaughtered. And the, the fact that you need 10 rebounds with a player as well kind of sucks. It should have really been on pro, but, you know. But, yeah. I can win multiplayer games, but I can't win a challenge game like that. So. I'm not bothering. It stressed me out. Yeah, I suck. <laughs> but anyway, finished off the other stuffs with the beasts. Apart from uh, triple threat assists and opal dunks. I, I mean, triple threat. I mean, this is not worth buying one of them players. Although I'm kind of tempted to try out Lamella Ball. We've done. On this camouflage set, we've done G. Vincenzo's assist, and we've done Tony Allen's steals. And the only thing Tony Allen's good for is defense. Nothing else. Um, D. Vincenzo's meh. Um, Kirk Heinrich is about the same price as G. Vincenzo, which is bizarre. Uh, so we'll probably do have a check. Probably not do Rodman because he's stupidly expensive. Um, we're doing, we've picked up Austin Crusher, he needs five more rebounds, and then we'll probably do bits on week one, part three. Week two, part two is out. TTO points. That's easy enough. Uh, two triple threat wins using two camouflage players. And 35 assists with Amethyst token reward, Norm Nixon. But for us next which is pretty cool. Done some triple threat offline games. Not done any triple threat online games, I think. I don't think we have. We've done a bunch of heat check stuff. Uh, so, we've done points, assists, finish that all off. And we've done all the uh, win a game using five heat check players. So we've done. The Heat, the Suns, the Bucks, the Lakers, the Celtics, the Bulls, the Knicks, and the Jazz. A whole thousand XP. A ton of XP there just for that. So that's pretty cool. And that's it, really, for XP. But up here, we've started to do some of these. The player flush, we're finally getting around to doing it. We have done in the central. Done Darko Milicic's... Oh, we've done the Pistons win. That was easy. Darko Milicic's blocks. Actually easier than I thought it would be. Thad Young is... Dreadful. But we managed to get it done. We did it. Went to Rookie Dom. Put him up against Wendell Carter Jr. Seven position. And we did it. We did it in the final quarter. Uh, just basically pick and rolling. And deliberately missing shots. And he actually got rebounds. I actually did a diamond shoe, uh, 
then I put a rebounding shoe boost on him. I've got plenty of diamond shoes, so. And I did it. Um, and this Larry Hughes, we'll talk about him in a minute. He's very good, and we're in the midst of getting the steals. Three more steals, then we get Andrew Bogut. Thirty rebounds of multiple multi multiplier games with Bogut. Gets us Ben Gordon, who is meant to be very, very good. And we've also done triple threat. We win a game using three rockets. Got XP for it as well, 200. Hence we're level 30. Yay! And then, yeah, next thing we've got to take Ben Eric Gordon into a game and score 50 points and get three assists in a single challenge game. I might do that in the daily thing where you get the heat check. So, we shall be, you know, pretty good. But, we've got a couple of things. Well, we actually got three things. We actually haven't <laughs> opened Eric Gordon. But, if you notice there, we've got 2,100 cards. Yes, we, somehow, with Heat Check Clayers being so cheap, we've kind of, like, stumbled into the realm of 2,100 collect cards collected. Hence why my NT's a little bit down. Although we bought players for XP as well, and I bought badges for Larry Hughes, which I'll talk about in a minute. But yeah. We got Kim McHale, so. Is he any good? I don't think he is meant to be very good. But heck, we're getting there with a the collector level. Not going purposely out my way. And picking most of the cards up on the cheap anyway, to be fair. But he hello, Kevin McHale. Welcome to the team. 96 overall. Celtics legend. Doing his Hulk impersonation. Uh, yeah. And Diamond Consumer Pack. So there's five things in here. Okay, this is the first time it's been level 38. It is all diamond stuff. Okay. Okay, I like. Block. Mm. Team Axe shoe. Okay, an Adidas shoe. Edge on shoe. That's a nice shoe, actually. Shot IQ. Rubbish. And three point shot. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. We used our last one a uh, while, well, uh, a little bit ago. And also, still got a diamond contract. Got two diamond contracts to open. Is there any point in selling them? No, they're only 13k at the minute. So, I'm keeping all of them. Maybe the price will rise up a bit more. The more overpowered cars we get. And they're seemingly becoming less common at the minute. But, you know, it is what it is. Right, we'll check the price of the two shoes. There's the T Max shoe. Not very expensive. The Jordan shoe. Being that colorway isn't very expensive, but eh, it'll look good on a player, so. Um, buh, 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 buh. We're going to have a look at Mr. McHale. It will be in not lifetime achievements, collect level rewards. So, last play we got was Bernard King. We haven't even used him yet. Uh, <laughs> Kevin McHale. So defensively, he looks a beast. Eight Hall of Fame badges, not bad. Rim protector, intimidator, tireless defender. <laughs> I mean, he's got intercept on gold, rebound chase on gold. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bronze clamps. Which you can upgrade. So there you go. Like I said, am I going to use him? Probably not. 85 free ball. Not bad. Dunking. Okay. Ball handles. Terrible. Pass IQ is not bad. Pass actually is rubbish. Blocks. Uh, still meh. 
perimeter defense, meh. Interior defense, amazing. Rebound is good. Speed, average. Probably will never use him. <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think I'll be using him. Um. So, we did go out of our way to get Larry Hughes. Now, why did I get him? The guy can play shooting guard, point guard. He's 6'5". There isn't many tall point guards at the minute. I think there's only realistically Penny and Magic that are... Well, Penny's actually one of the best tall ones. And Lonzo... And, sorry. Lamella Ball being the other one. But this guy, look, defensively, he's got a great wingspan. 99 overall on defense. Uh, Hall of Fame badges. Pit pocket clamps interceptor. Ankle braces menace ball stripper. And he has an intimidator on gold. However, he's really good. And he's got really good uh, dribble uh, sigs as well. He's got the good one. I can't remember what it is. But <laughs> we had to put, obviously, to make him half decent, to make him really good, put Deadeye, Sniper, and uh, wherever it is, living the spot up on him. And boy, they're expensive cards. We also put... Um, Something else on him. We put handles for days as well on him. And we got another spot. If we want to put anything else on him. We've done him a diamond shoe. What do we put on him? Well, put his draw foul up. Put his three points at 88. Candice Parker on as coach. It's a 93 overall free ball. His release is actually very good, actually, to be fair. Uh, passing stats are okay. Good block for a... A point guard's good. Amazing still. 98 overall still. 95 perimeter. 84 interior. Three buttons okay. And I put some speed boosts on him. Yeah. He's good. Defensively, he can clamp up. Releases a bit. I, I'm getting used to it. He is good. But one guy who I'm probably actually going to badge out a little bit. This guy. I've actually started to use him a bit. DeMar DeRozan, he's very good. He is very good. I didn't realize actually how good he is. So realistically, uh, badge-wise, I will need... I'll probably put Dream Shake up to gold. Because Interceptor, Intimidator, two badges he needs... Um, blinders and limitless spotter probably and maybe ooh, probably needs quick first step as well to be honest um, but yeah very very good the release is the same as T-Max so obviously it's very good Austin Chris is meh uh, <laughs> it's a ruby card what do you expect but he's okay he can actually shoot Austin Crutcher, he's actually not bad shoot. His release is actually fairly good. And of the badges you get, you got Clutch Shooter, Dead Eye, and Sniper. Which is not bad for a Ruby card, so can't do anything else, but yeah, he's okay. But that'll do it for today's video, guys. Um, let us know in the comments below uh, where you're at with the playoff push. I know many people have completed it. Some people have just started it. Or just going through it at their own pace. Which I kind of am. Kind of am. But our next target is level 39. The Hall of Fame badge. And yeah. Till next time guys. Have a great rest of your day. Take care. And uh, yeah. Peace.